so today I want to share with you a reminder that was incredibly helpful for me even just 10 minutes ago. We know that many, many millionaires are unhappy. I actually personally know directly some people that have incredible amounts of money. And they're still stressed out even when they're not working, even if they don't have a lot going on. They're not happy. They want more. And it's a very fascinating thing for me to see and experience. Second example, we know many, many models who are unhappy and really struggle with their image and struggle with a lot of addictions and problems. And I personally, directly know I've met people. I, I remember meeting women that were incredibly beautiful. Incredibly, incredibly beautiful. And yet they don't feel beautiful. And someone who would actually work out twice a day because she wasn't happy with her body and she had what many people label a perfect, amazing, incredible body. And we see these all the time. We see these in, on TV, on the news and that kind of stuff. And the third example that I wanted to give you is actually fame. We, there's many, many famous people who are not happy. I personally don't know directly any famous people, so I can't give you that example, but how many people have we seen throughout history who are famous and struggle with addictions, whether it's alcohol, drugs, something else, and struggle with many other things that the, the fame can challenge. Um, for them in their lives so at the same time I don't want to take away from the fact that we all want money let's get real we all want we like money we want money the second example that I gave you we want to look good we, everyone likes to look good and everyone would like to look good and the third example when it comes to fame I feel like for everyone who puts themselves out there whether it's like I'm doing through video if someone else does it through writing a blog or writing a book, or if you have a podcast, if you have a radio show, if you do art, paintings, sculptures, pottery, anything that you do where you're putting yourself out there, we want to be seen. If we really enjoy and love our work, we want our, our work to be seen. So it might not be the same exactly as fame, but it's very similar. So I'm not saying that we shouldn't want those things, that we don't want those things, because that wouldn't be realistic. We're human beings. We're going to want those things. But at the same time, I feel like deep down, we know that that's not going to bring us happiness. When we get a little more money, we just want more. And if your goal is to lose weight or build more muscle and you lose a little more weight or you build a little more muscle, you just your goal moves a little further. You have a new goal. You want more. If your fame grows, whether that's subscribers, followers, whatever, of all the examples that I just gave, when that grows, you just want more. So that's why I always say that the quote unquote solution, what we're really looking for goes much deeper than that. I always love asking the questions of what about it? Like, what is it that I really want? And sometimes you might get an answer and just say, why, why, why? And keep going deeper. What is it that you really want? What is it about more money? That you really want. I'm actually making a lot of videos about money because I find it a fascinating topic and it's something that I've struggled with my whole life. So I, I'm very curious about exploring that relationship a little deeper. So what is it that we want with money? What is it ab about money that we want more of it? 
Is it the safety that we might feel? The freedom? Not having to stress about it all the time? Having the opportunities to travel more, to donate money, to help people out that might need? Money help those that might have less than we do and being able to help. What is it about money that we want? And in fact, I, would, I also love the phrase uh, that Candace Vandell shares. Um, get real about how you feel so that you can heal. So get real about it. If, if, if you want the safety because you don't feel safe without money, that's okay. If that's where you're at right now, that's perfect. Then watch my other videos on money and you'll see how to kind of work through that. But if you want the freedom, if you want to be able to travel more, like what is it? And can you be okay with that? Can you be okay with the fact that you want that, but realizing like that's not the thing that I'm really, really, really looking for. It might actually go deeper than that. When it comes to the second example that I give you and the looks and the people that like models or, or people that are incredibly fit that never feel good enough with their bodies. They don't, they're never satisfied. Um, and that's a fascinating conversation too. Like it's okay to keep aiming for progress and keep wanting to, to grow in every area of your life. Of course, that that's normal and that's okay. It's healthy. But even when I said it's healthy, it's funny. Like we need to see if, 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 if it feels like a healthy relationship, which is very hard to, I mean, that's very subjective, I guess. But um, why is it that you want to keep losing weight? Why is it that you want to build more muscle? Is it because you actually just want deeper connection with other human beings? And you feel like right now, the way you look, you can't get that? You don't feel good enough. You don't feel worthy of maybe having the relationships of your dreams with the body that you currently have. It's a fascinating question. I mean, for me, I've always been very thin, very skinny. And, and I've, I've gone through stages in my life of being obsessed with building more muscle. And I went, I got, I went through injuries because I was pushing myself too much. Then the injury set me back so much that I was never able to put on muscle and it, I have a lot of imbalances in my body and when I, I when I push myself too much because of that, that obsession about building muscle I end up hurting myself again so why is it that I have such a strong desire to just build more muscle I said it is it's a fascinating question and I always say I love the phrase by Matt Kahn awareness without compassion just turns into judgment I can't remember if that's the exact phrase, but that, that was the, the, the point behind what he said. Um, self-awareness without self-compassion just turns into self-judgment. So can we be curious about these questions without being judgmental? So with compassion, why is it that I'm so obsessed with building more muscle? It's a very interesting question, in my opinion. Because sometimes, yeah, we just want that deeper connection with human beings. We're looking for that. There's a lot of talk about soulmate, and I make a, a lot of videos on that because I, it, it's, it's, I think it's fascinating to question the typical approach that we see um, in the self development industry. And I like to question that. Um, So sometimes we have an idea of a dream partner and the person that you want to maybe find and, and, and be able to share your life with. And at the same time, we have all these insecurities within ourselves that we don't feel worthy of that person. So obviously there's a part of me that doesn't feel worthy of that partner in my current body, like being this skinny and thin. So can I acknowledge that? Can I be okay with that, right? Get real about how you feel so that you can heal. And with what I always mention about the, the, the big, very strong foundation, self-acceptance, self-compassion, self-forgiveness and forgiving others, 
self-worth, and self-love. Through those, I believe that that's actually what we want. And even through those, all those questions that I was sharing with you about what is it about money that I want? What is it about? Is it the safety, the freedom, this and that? And what is it about me not being happy with the way that I look right now? It's not easy to get clear on those questions because we've been incredibly influenced by our culture, society, the media. We've been, I don't, that's a fascinating topic in itself that how much we've been influenced by the media and that's why i always talk about taking breaks from social media taking breaks from just constantly watching tv netflix movies the news whatever we need in today's world we need little breaks from that you can kind of look deeper into like a dopamine detox and we don't need to label it and give it a, a cool fancy name you could just take a little break half a day just turn off all your devices go out for a walk go to the beach go to a park just you no distractions but that's why i feel like the 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 actual thing that we're looking for that i don't know what it is i can't name it i can't sell it to you in a package i don't have a ebook with the seven ste steps to find true happiness for the rest of your life but i'm pretty sure that it goes much deeper than the things that we think we actually want and need So that's why I'm fascinated with the question of what if we actually start with self-acceptance, self-compassion, self-forgiveness, self-worth, and self-love? What if we actually start with that? And what if we actually make that the focus instead of money, looks, fame? That would be a cool experiment, in my opinion. That would be a cool experiment. Hmm... So I've got a question for you. If you watch this far, and if there's any value in what I shared, if you could give it a little thumbs up, that would really help the algorithm for these videos to reach more people, hopefully help more people, not just build my ego and get more views and get more likes, but to be able to help more people with these crazy ideas that I wanna share. There's so much more coming on all these topics that I just talked about. Turn on your, your notifications. And if you actually want to go a little deeper, you might want to um, sign up for my free newsletter, my website, gonzalecourts.com. Go there, sign up. It's free. Some very, very cool stuff coming. So hope it helped. Have a beautiful day.